the field of San Jacinto, just a small part of a rolling prairie, is swallowed up by the vast expanse of the enormous Texas coastal plain. Hemmed in by brackish ponds, a sluggish bayou, and salty marshes, there is little to suggest the role this unremarkable place would play in the history of the world. Could the men that struggled there on that day have known it would be a day of blood, of destiny, of tragedy, and triumph? Did the waking soldados of the Activo and Permanente battalions of the Ejercito Mexicano realize that most of them would never see their homes again? How could the eager Texian volunteers, many from places like Alabama, Kentucky, Ireland, and New York, have predicted the fortunes of the day? When they'd come to Texas, what had they hoped to accomplish? Well, it no longer mattered what they initially set out to achieve. What they did was change the world. These newborn soldiers were no experts of military arts. They carried tomahawks and bowie knives, shotguns, long rifles, and fowling pieces, wearing only hunting frocks, buckskins, and homespun. Their weapons varied, yet they each carried something essential with them into that fight. Heart. Courage and determination stiffened their spines, fed their resolve, and quickened their steps as they made the long walk up the gentle slope, down and up the swale, and charged over the enemy barricades to victory. Some slain, others wounded, but most pressed on in the frenzy of violence until, at last spent, they could relax and survey what they had wrought. Vengeance for their slain loved ones at the Alamo and Goliath. Victory over the forces that drove them from their homes and made them refugees. Did they know the ripple effect their victory would cause? How could they? That still lay well into the future. They could not even be sure if their victory would settle the issue of Texas independence. But it did. And that hard-won independence led to a republic, a state, and set off a chain reaction that changed the destiny of nations. All it took was 18 minutes. If the spirits of those who fought here walk among us today, they would be astonished.